Hello everyone and welcome back to Contemporary Mama. If you are new, my name is Carolyn. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. I hope you'll consider sticking around and subscribing. It's completely free. You just have to click that red button down below. Turn on your notification bell so you never miss an upload. So it's only halfway through September, but all of my favorite channels have already been flooding my YouTube feed with all their cozy fall soups and I am not going to be left out on that action. So today I'm going to be bringing you one of my favorite fall recipes. It is a creamy, delicious butternut bisque. And this recipe is by Martha Stewart, so you know that it's gonna be amazing. The star of it is this giant butternut squash. Squash season is almost upon us, so this is the perfect recipe to be sharing with you guys today. I really hope that you guys enjoy this recipe. Be sure to leave me a comment and let me know if you try it. As per usual, I'm going to start by showing you everything that you're going to need. So to get started, you of course want to wash your butternut squash, cut off the ends, and then peel it. And to be perfectly honest, a lot of the times I do already buy it peeled and cut up. It's so much easier. I know it's more expensive, but to me, it's worth it to save time. But the ones in the grocery store that were already cut up just weren't looking that great. So today I'm doing it on my own. And to be honest, it only took under two minutes. I'm just cutting it in half lengthwise and using a spoon to scoop out the seeds and this fleshy part. Since I already had the peeler out, I'm just going to give my apple a peel. I did end up using two apples since I had another one that was about to go bad. Now I'm just getting to chopping everything up. I'm going to start by very carefully cutting up the butternut squash. You want to chop it up into about one inch pieces. After this, I'm going to chop up the apple and the onion. You can really chop those, chop those up pretty roughly. You're going to be blending everything at the end so it doesn't have to be a fine dice. Once everything is prepped, just preheat a large saucepan or pot over medium heat and add in those three tablespoons of butter. Once they're all melted, just add in your onions and your garlic and all of those spices and let it cook for about five to seven minutes until the onions start to soften up. 
Do not do what I did and almost forget to season it with a generous sprinkle of salt. Thank goodness I remembered that at the last second. Once your onions are softened, you can add everything else in. All of your butternut squash, your can of broth, three cups of water, which I did forget to mention before, a cup of half and half, and your apples. If you're using them, of course, you wanna bring that up to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer and let it cook for about 20 minutes until everything softens up. Now here, I'm using my immersion blender to blend everything up, but before I had this, I used my blender and it worked just fine. Just work in batches and blend everything up until it's smooth and creamy. Once it's all blended, you can add in your tablespoon of lemon juice and any other seasonings that your heart desires. I like adding a little sprinkle of nutmeg, I think it gives it a great fall flavor. And then I tasted it and it did still need a little bit of salt which I added in off camera. Now to serve it, Martha Stewart says that you need to garnish it with sour cream and another sprinkle of cayenne pepper. So if that's what Martha Stewart says to do, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So here is how Martha's turned out and here is how mine turned out. I think I did pretty darn good. Now here I'm burning my tongue taste testing it before I let it cool down, but it was worth it because this soup tasted so good. I know that you'll love it if you give it a try. Leave me a comment if you do all the way down at the bottom. And don't forget to subscribe before you head out. I'm going to see you guys on Tuesday with a brand new video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Lights out, die.